Hi everyone. So today we will see how to convert our Postman collection to JMeter script. Okay. So usually we write some collections in the Postman, right? So basically collections are called like n number of uh, request, HTTP request you can maintain in the collection. The collection is simply called as a folder, right? So where we keep n number of requests in the collection and we will run it from the Postman, right? So the Postman uh, collection that we create, right? So some point of time we have to do some performance testing by running n number of time the same API calls, right? So similarly, we can do in the Postman as well, but Postman is a tool, uh, I mean, it's not uh, recommended for the performance testing. Still, we can do at, 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 at I mean, at a high level, right? So JMeter is a, a right tool to do the performance testing, right? So we have created some collection in the Postman that already exists. We have to convert those Postman collection to JMeter script. So how do we cut, I mean, convert the script from Postman to JMeter, okay? That's what, I mean, we are going to see today. So first we have to create one collection in Postman, right? So how do we create a collection in Postman? You simply go here and click on this create new collection button. You can name it anything you want and just click, I mean simply click on the create button, okay? In my case, I have already created one collection by the name of sample collection where I have like a four requests inside the collection folder, right? The, the first three is get method and last one is four, I mean post method, right? So how do we run normally? So we'll click on this run collection button we can we will go to the collection runner window right so once the collection window runner is ready then we can directly run so all the four requests will run one by one right okay so this is how the collection window uh, runner window will look okay so we have all four requests is here and we can we can go for a simply click on this run button right as soon as you click on this run button see all the all the scripts are running right so first one is get method and the second one is post, get, get, right? All three get and post executed. Totally four requests we have. Okay, so if you expand, you can see uh, there are some tests written inside the uh, each method. So that's why we are seeing this status code 200 validate response and all we are getting, right? So now uh, we have to convert this to JMeter script, basically JMX file, right? So how do we convert this one? We have to convert this, right? So to converting this one, we have some, in, I mean, uh, URL, I mean, website we have. So by using this URL, you can go to that website. So this is a website, okay, Lodium is a website. So here, Postman to JMeter Converter, you can see. So we have to upload that JSON file, okay. So how do we uh, get this JSON file? From Postman, we have to export, right? So how do we export? So simply click on this and you will find an option called export, okay. So simply click on this export. So by automatically it will take 2.1 version is recommended, uh, version 1 is deprecated, okay. So always go for the default recommended one. I'm just clicking on the export button. So it will ask you to save the file, right. So I will go to my desktop, I will simply, okay, I'm exporting something else, okay, this is the right one, right. Exporting and I will simply save on my desktop, okay. So I'm just saving on the name, right. This is a folder name, collection folder name, sample collection dot postman underscore collection will automatically the ex extension will come okay i am just saving this file to my desktop okay you will get notified successfully exported right so now come to this website you have to upload that file okay i am clicking on this upload option and the file is located in my desktop right so this is a one sample collection that we exported from the postman right sample collection i am just uploading this one okay you can see the name right so i am Click on this checkbox and go for a convert now option. Okay, as soon as you convert this one, you can see the JMX file is downloaded here, right? So it will be in my download folder. You can see it here, right? Sample collection dot postman collection dot JMX is created. So now we'll come to the next step is we have converted this one. Now we have to come to the JMeter to import this collection and we'll run the script. Okay, so this is my JMeter window. What you have to do, you, do, you have to go to this file and go for a open. So you just select uh, wherever the file is located. So in my case, uh, it is located in the desktop, this PC, okay, desktop. Okay, so here we have to select all files, right? So once you selected all files, so this is a file that we generated now. Sorry, 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 into downloads, right? So that is download. It will be in the, this PC, downloads, and go for all files, 
or you can select only JMS file. Okay, so this is a file that we, we downloaded recently, right? So simply click on this and go for a open. So you can see this is, I mean, uh, imported. I mean, we open the JMX file to JMeter. Now you can see the test case name, one, two, three, right? The test case names are here basically. So these are the names, guys. You go, if you want to change this name, you can change by clicking on this icon. You can change it anything, okay? So basically, I, I just kept for reference one, two, three, four. The same one, two, three, four came here, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we want to run this, right? So how do we run this? By simply clicking on this button. So the test will execute now, right? You can see on the right side, right? So four seconds it taken and all the requests are done, right? So so for, for taking this kind of report, right? So how do we validate, okay, all the tests are successful, right? So simply we can add some listeners into the uh, our script. So I will go for a view tree, uh, results tree option, as well as I will create one more uh, listener called uh, summary report, okay? These reports will help you to understand, okay, our response is success or not, okay? So I have added this to uh, two um, reporting uh, listeners. I will run this case now. You can see all the one, two, three, four are the green, right? So which means the green is success. I mean passed, right? You can see the response is coming. For two also we are getting some response. Three also we are getting some response. Four is a post method. We are getting some response. So the first one is get method where you can go to uh, request. So this is going as a get call. The, the last one is post one, right? The method four is post, right? So you can go on and you can simply verify these things. Like if you want to see the response in the right format, right? So this is coming as a text format. You can simply change it to JSON path tester. You will see that, okay, the same JSON reports are coming. I mean, response are coming here, right? So for example, the first method, right? So if you see the uh, in postman, so these are the responses are coming. Like it's starting from the page, right? And ending with the uh, text. Right, text key. So the same here, pages, page per, page, I mean, per page is starting and ending with the, this support URL, right? So here also you can you can write some, ex, I mean, uh, expression like uh, if you want to get the value of um, uh, this per page, right? So you can write some, uh, I mean, this is, this is come when you go for a validation, okay? When you, when you simply uh, dot per page, this is a key, right? So when you, when you click on the test, it will give you the results of zero. I mean uh, six, right? The, the value of page per page is value is six, right? So similarly, you can copy this total and you can copy, I mean, paste this one, and you can see this is coming as a twelve, right? So this will help you when you when you go for a validation, right? Like uh, we have written some testers in the postman, right? We used to write some tests, like uh, how to validate the response code and how to iterate and validate. For example, if you want to check this ID value is coming as a seven or not, right? So for those, we will write some uh, JavaScript uh, test in the Postman, right? Similarly, you can you can write the testers in the JMeter as well. That we'll we'll see later. Okay. For example, now if you want to check this ID uh, is coming as a seven, right? So how do we validate this one? Data. So this data is coming under the array. Right? Okay. So data array value of zero. I'm taking the first element. Okay. First element of ID value, right? If I click on the egg, uh, test, you can see it is coming as a seven. Similarly, if you want to go for a test uh, last name, right? You can simply check this. Okay, it's coming as a last name, right? So this will help you to, I mean, uh, writing the test scripts. We want to validate the response as well, right? So for those reasons, we can go for this one. I mean, uh, we'll cover this later in some another video. Okay, so all the our four requests are uh, successfully executed, and you can go for a summary results also. So these are the labels. Labels mean the test case name. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, one, two, three, four is coming, right? Samples are only one samples. And what is the throughput and error percentage or not, we can see, right? So this is how we convert the postman collection script to. So now you can see all the requests are done. So, I mean, these are the names basically, label, right? So if you, for example, if you want to change, you can change it to one. And you can change this as a two, right? And the, this one is three. And this one is a four. So once you change this one, okay. Again, we'll go for a run. Okay, I will clear the history. Again, I will run. So this time you can see one, two, three, fours are coming, right? Same thing. That's it. So these are the basically names. When you go for a summary report, also it's changed from one, two, three, two, uh, from numeric value to the test case name as well coming as. Text value like a one two three whatever the name that we given into the each HTTP uh, request right. 
so this is how we basically do and you can control like uh, you can control the thread users like if i if you want to go over two users right so we can change it in here so when i when i run this it will run for a two iteration right so you can see one two three four again one two three four right so one is running two time and two is also running two time and four is also running two times right and three is also running two times so this is how basically we'll convert the postman collection to the jmeter script guys okay so if you found any any other option like a how to convert the postman collection to jmeter script so please leave it in the comment so that's why i mean uh, others can uh, i mean others can get help out of it okay thank you guys